hello everyone in the previous video we edit our record and we uh, append this uh, uh, this value to the drop down right and we made this auto selected but there is one problem our this uh, string first letter is not capital right so how we can make this capitalize so let's go here and this option is work for us so let's make this uh, let's vote this and then search it again uh, make uh, first uh, letter upper uppercase j carry okay and let's go here capitalize yes this one is used to make this capitalize and let's go back and here i'm going to make this so uh, or we can also add this so uh, uh, whatever we want to add this function we can add this outside of this one here and then you can call this inside of your script right capitalize first letter and then we need to call this so here i want to uh, make this capital right so which i want to make this capital i want to capitalize this response dot name right so let's uh, uh, make this uh, response dot name we can also store this so response dot uh, name so i'm going to store this uh, uh, name right name in the variable name variable name and i'm going to pass this name here right i'm going to pass this name because now it's so uh, uppercase and i'm passing this uppercase name Wait for a moment so let's click on this edit and yes now it's so uh, telling us that there is a okay, why it's getting uh, referencing oh i typed the wrong thing there i need to make this type right also make this uh, oops type and this would be also a type right this would be also a type save this one and now it's going to highlight the exact category and it's going to make this uppercase right click on this mobile and yes now electronics is in the uppercase which means that we successfully implemented this so now the time is to work on this update category right so in the uh, basically the update category is the same so uh, whenever we are doing this uh, we, we are editing this uh, model so i already told you that we use this uh, create and edit for both for same right so now i'm going to send this request on the store again but how we can differentiate that our request is coming from the store or we are updating our record so first uh, we need to create an input uh, hidden input so let me go to the form here in the in this name i need to add this uh, a hidden input so i'm defining its type hidden and i'm renaming this so uh, category id and also i'm going to add this so uh, same category id here right so now let's go here and fill this value when we are editing this stuff so i want to fill this value where it is oh here so i need to make this first to uh, it would be an id of category dot id and i want to assign this value so you can also assign the value to this hidden input same as you are assigning this to a simple simple input field type or number right so now i assign this category id when i'm going to edit this so it's going to add this category id value this uh, this category id will be added to this category right so if i go here and now let's get refresh so this will be available in our form so when we refresh this it will be automatically filled so let's uh, uh, let me make this like this click on this edit it's going to open a model let's click on here so there would be an id right 
hidden and yes it's containing the value of one so it means that now it's containing the category id so here we want to send the request to as we are sending this so when we are clicking on this update category so it's same when we are creating this so category so save btn is used for both right so whenever i will click on this it will send the request on the store right so in the store method i'm going to check that if there is any id if uh, if the request contain oops if the request contain the category category id and then i'm going to update this stuff and if it's not contain any id so i'm going to make this else right so here i'm going to let me also copy this message so i'm going to pass this message here so first i'm checking that if there is any id so then i'm going to uh, grab this id and find this into the model so our model is uh, category uh, find and here i'm going to find the request oops request and then this would be a category id category and then category id right and if i did not find this let me type this so category and here i'm checking that if this is not found my one button is not working that's why i feel very difficulty to do this i will fix sometime it's work sometime it does not work i don't know what's happening behind the scene okay if i did not find this uh, category then i'm going to throw the 404 exception right about 404 this about is responsible for throwing the exception so which code you will pass it will throw the exception so if we will find so we are going to update this category so category and then you can call directly call this update right and this update except the first parameter name and we are getting this name from this request as similar we are getting it in the store we are in the store right so we are using this same for same method for update and create and basically we are checking that if there is any type uh, if there is any category id so we are it means that its request is coming from the edit stuff and if there is no id then it means that it's uh, going to create this request and then i'm going to copy this stuff and add it here so category updated successfully and it's also going to return 200 right so now this one is good so let's go here and give it a refresh okay 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 so here i'm going to click on this uh, mobile and i'm going to make this mobile one click on this update category and it says category updated successfully model is clo closed and it says that model so it's not loaded the exact thing so let me check that mobile one is updated or not and yes it's updated but we need to update this so uh, here also we need to refresh our dom so how we can refresh this so we need to uh, let's go to the blade let me close this out so here we are defining the this data table so we need to basically refresh this data table when we are refreshing our thing so variable table table equal this so i assign this variable so i will use this for refresh right so when i'm creating this request or updating this request i want to make this refresh so table dot uh, what is the method to refresh i forgot so let's search this uh, refresh data table uh, jquery okay uh, search this out so my grapper extension will be you know, highlight this oh ajax dot to reload uh, I think we don't need to define the ajax it's a reload reload property is used to reload our data so let me add this 
uh, also here so whenever we are getting the okay where it is oh i need to add this just here right so let's uh, go here get refresh and then i'm going to make remove this samsung from the mobile this second one so i'm going to remove this samsung and then i'm going to update this update category so it will be instantly updated oh i know i think something went wrong so let's check what's went wrong select menu is a not function mm -hmm. okay 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 so what's the exact error let's click on it and it says that uh, select menu refresh is not a function hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. so let me refresh it again and check that uh, why we are turning this maybe it's due to some case when oh why it's it's updated the category but it's not uh, oh when we are loading this it's throwing this error that select menu is not a function so if i go to this uh, edit blade so in the edit blade here so here i need to remove this refresh i don't want to refresh it will be when we are using the multi select library we need to choose this refresh thing but we are when we are doing implementing this simple stuff and we don't need to do this so here let's click on this again update and table dot reload is a not a function so let me set that uh, reload jquery let me reload this okay 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 let's get refresh and wait for a moment to complete this. i can also see this here in my existing project table dot draw is also used to refresh the table so you can do this table dot draw so it's update only those records uh, table reload is reload the full table but table draw is uh, only update the new records which are updated so it's not going to reload all the table so you can use uh, here it is table dot draw so here choose draw draw save this one let's uh, get refresh check the video size it's again going bigger no problem okay so let's click on this and so let's update it okay it says updated successfully so if i go back again and now i'm going to remove this uh, workman from there so click on this update let's get the id is three and yes now it's successfully updated so if i go back again and add uh, one here and three here oh i am never to choose the three because this is affected from the drop down okay and yes now one is added so it means that we are now successfully able to update this at the runtime so here uh, let me go to the edit model where i'm passing this so an id so i need to pass the exact thing so where is the i'm passing the thing so here i'm passing the id so i need to pass the type not an id right save this one so now it will pull the id uh, not an id it's going to pull the exact to i like this category so let's click on this linear corner so i'm going to remove this it's corner because we are not sitting in the corner four removed and yes now it's updated its category and this one right so it means that now it's successfully working and i hope you like this video if you like this video subscribe to the youtube channel and we are going to meet this in the next one bye bye